So, today at least, today's lesson is on hazards and avoiding them. So, let's start the class off with a quick little brainstorm. Do you guys have any ideas of like hazards? We could find around the marina. Matthew. Rocks. Rocks. On the beach. That is a very common thing. We have those in the water, in the beach, everywhere. Asa? Um, floating baths in the marina. Very good. Our marina is filled with gas. Well, not filled, but when car when boats go there to fill up with gas, some of it gets in the water, and you don't want to be near that. Matthew? Um, houseboats. Or houseboats. Or just other boats in general, I guess. Okay, other boats. Um, Asa? Uh, shallow water. Shallow water. Analogy. Yeah. Matthew, do you have one final one? Um, any swimmers? We don't have too many swimmers around here, but it's still something to look out for. So I'll write it down. Cars. Okay, so one more, I like it. Cars. Cars are very serious. All right. Now, we have to be careful of all these things. Um, Near our marina, we have a road that runs right by um, in between us and our field for games that we go to often. And we have a couple swimmers who go there, but once again, not terribly common. We have shallow water on either side of the marina that we have to look out for, and on the other side of the river. So. Other boats, that could be other sailboats, motor boats coming in another marina, or the houseboats that are moored um, right outside the marina. Um, the, <laughs> the gas, um, don't, that's a relatively easy one to avoid, just don't capsize or fall out of your boat in the marina. And rocks, rocks, we have one large rock in the marina you need to watch out for when you're coming in to land. That's a big rock, but other than that, just look out for small rocks on the beach when you go to beach your boat and other rocks in the water. That's a good list of hazards. Okay, now I have a picture of our marina. So, nice marina. Here's our clubhouse, right here. Here's the boat launch. You should be able to recognize it. So, um, one of the most important things that we haven't actually covered yet is this buoy right here. That buoy, very important, because in between the buoy and the breakwater, there are a lot of rocks. You should never go between the buoy and the breakwater. You should always be between the buoy and the lighthouse because that is where clear water is. So, you can just sail out of the marina and go in between the buoy and the lighthouse. Now, once you're out on the water, you have to look out for the most immediate thing, the houseboat moorings. Houseboats often lure themselves in that general area. There will be little boats everywhere. So, you need to make sure to just try to steer clear of there, at least five boat lengths. Another place where you don't want to sail is the little bay in here. This place, very shallow water, and you will hit your dagger board if you go in there. 
Now, those are the only main, those are the largest hazards. But there are many other hazards, such as other boats, that will change constantly. You need to constantly be aware of where you're sailing. Don't sail looking behind you. Try to sail looking forward, seeing where you're going to go. See if anything's going to be there when you get there. Now, if you're sailing out into the middle of the river, and a boat looks like it's coming towards you, how could you avoid this hazard, Matthew? Um, change direction. Change directions? I like it. Very simple. Okay. Now, let's say you were sailing and you start drifting in towards the bay. Asa, what's one thing you could do to stop this? Um, try to uh, tack, change direction, and uh, sail away from shallow water. Okay. Yeah. Just don't go near there. That one's pretty simple. Now, there are. Works. That's mainly it, except for the other side of the river, which isn't really on this map. Um, that's mainly it for the on the water thing. Uh, what about the swimmers? Okay, swimmers so yeah. occasionally jump off of the pier here, but you shouldn't really be sailing that close to the pier, anyways. You should try to stay uh, within this little area, just near the houseboats, because past here is Lemire Beach, which you also shouldn't be sailing near, because there are swimmers there, and shallow water. But on land, the main uh, hazard on land is the road that runs right here between our clubhouse and our field. So, this one's pretty simple. You should have been taught this when you were a kid. Just check both ways before you cross the road. Don't get hit. That would be bad. And then you can safely get to your field. That's yeah, that. Nice to that. Um, okay, let's do a brainstorm to see what we've learned. Matthew, can you think of one thing? Uh, make sure to steer, steer clear of shallow areas. What? Um, shallow areas. That's good. Asa, do you have one thing? Um, steer clear of other boats. Okay. Stay away from other boats. That's good for two reasons, because you don't want to get hit by a boat, and there's a little bit of gas in there. Alright, now I think this is very good, and um, any last questions? Can we do a quick little recap on the uh, marina? Okay, let's go back to the marina for a second. What would you like to recap? Uh, just in general about the inside the marina. Okay, um, inside the marina, there's not too many things you need to watch out for. Stay between the buoy and the lighthouse. Watch out for boats coming this way because they may have been moored here. There's a large rock right here, which we should have already shown you guys, but just in case you forgot. Um, 
And yeah, the water has a little bit of gas in it. So there you go. Any other questions? No. no.